Shri Jagan Mohan Reddy, Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh, Shri Mati Vyas Vijayamagaru, dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, and friends. Priya Maina, Sodara Sodari Manulu, Andariki Namaskaram. Andariki Rashtra Avatarana Dinotsava Shubha Kanshilu Telupu Kuntunanu. I am sorry I am not in a position to proceed in Telugu here afterwards, but I am making a sincere effort to learn, right? It gives me immense pleasure to be here amongst you all on the occasion of presentation of YSR Lifetime Achievement Awards and YSR Achievements Awards 2023. I am happy to know that the prestigious awards are being presented to individuals and institutions in recognition of their extraordinary contribution to the society and in the fields of agriculture, medicine, education, art and culture, literature, sports, media, and social work. I extend my hearty congratulations to all the winners of YSR Lifetime Achievement Awards and YSR Achievement Awards 2023. And I wish to remind them that the awards presented to you today reflect the invaluable contributions made by you through your chosen fields of activity and for making a difference in the lives of the people and the society. Dr. Y.S. Rajshekar Reddy, former Chief Minister of United Andhra Pradesh, after whom the awards have been instituted, won the hearts of the people of both the Telugu states through his contribution for the development of agriculture sector and implementation of pro-poor welfare programs on the saturation basis. Several welfare programs like Arugeshri, social pensions, 108 ambulance, free electricity to farmers, weaker section housing scheme, fee reimbursement and other welfare programs being continued till today bear testimony to his visionary administration and foresight. He is remembered for the launching Jalayagnam project, a massive drive for construction of 30 major irrigation projects, 18 medium projects envisaged to cultivate 1 crore acres under the project Telangana, under the project in Telangana, Rayal Seema and in coastal Andhra regions and save the farmers from agrarian crisis. Dr. Vyas Rajshekar Reddy is also remembered for sanctioning construction of 78 lakh houses by undertaking a massive housing program for BPL families, which is talked about with great pride. Dr. Vyas Rajshekar Reddy pioneered the 108 Integrated Emergency Response Ambulance Services under public-private partnership, which is successfully being operated in 15 states and two union territories in the country. The success of the project can be gauged by the fact that the project was also launched in Sri Lanka, supported by the Government of India. Andhra Pradesh has made tremendous progress with an overall growth of 16.22 percent for 2022 2023 with, sig with significant growth performance in all three major sectors of economy, that is agriculture and allied industries and services. The per capita income has registered an impressive growth rate of 14.02% in 2021 and the year-on-year -year GSDP growth rate of 11.43% is highest amongst all the states. 
the village and ward secretariat system and Raitu Bharosa Kendralu established by the state government for the first time in the country have been functioning effectively and became successful in taking the administration to the grassroot level. The expenditure of Rs 2.3 lakh crore on various flagship welfare programs under Navaratnalu by the state government for the benefit of SC, ST, BC and minorities for their economic and social well-being and progress is noteworthy. The state government has recognized the fact that social justice cannot be attained without political empowerment and has taken several measures to empower economically and socially deprived sections of the society by allocating 56% of the posts in the first round and 70% of the posts in the second round in the Council of Ministers to SC, ST, BC and minority communities. Friends, out of the five deputy CMs, four posts, namely 80% were given to SC, ST, BC minorities. <laughs> Apart from this, nine posts that is 70% out of the 13 Zilla Parishad chairman posts were given to SC, ST, BC and minorities. Out of 137 corporations, 58% of the posts of chairman were given to SC, ST, BC and minorities. The government has also ensured that among the nominated posts and nominated works, 50% be reserved to SC, ST, BC and minorities. An act has also been brought to this effect. Andhra Pradesh is also making good strides at national level as the state has become, has been ranked 7th in the Swachha Sarvekshan for the year 2022. The state has generated Rs 13.42 lakh crore investment proposals in global invest investors meet, submit held in Vishakapattam in March this year, which is likely to generate employment potential of 6 lakhs jobs in 16 key development sectors. The state is also consistently ranked at first position in the ease of doing business ranking in the country. Andhra Pradesh has undergone massive transformation with a historic initiative taken since 1956 by decentralization and restructuring the district administration by constituting 26 districts, 76 revenue divisions and 108 police divisions making the district administration more accessible to common man. I wish the people of Andhra Pradesh to become more prosperous and the state of Andhra Pradesh to reach greater heights with an all-round development in all key sectors. I once again congratulate the winners of this YSR Lifetime Achievement Awards and YSR Achievement Awards 2023 and extend my best wishes to the people of Andhra Pradesh on the State Formation Day. Thank you all. Jai Hind.